Hey guys, welcome to Intech Channel, and today is just gonna be a simple video again. I'm just gonna show you on how to install your GPU block from your Founders Edition of 1080 Ti. But if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please you're welcome to do so. I want you to see what I see in eyes. Something so real. So the first step to do this is removing the backplate by unscrewing 20 screws. And yes, there's a lot of screws in the back of um, the backplate. But it shouldn't be that hard as long as you have a really handy dandy tool like what I have right now. Without trying, without trying. So after removing the GPU backplate, there is another stand of screws and make sure you have a tool that's a 4mm hex socket in the hand and uh, otherwise you'd be like going to Walmart and you know you don't want to go to Walmart like around 10 o'clock in the evening. This ain't the same, this ain't the same They say love heals all, it makes it all alright In time, in time So by removing the IO shield at the back of the GPU backplate You'll be able to remove the shroud at ease Because I was having a hard time to remove the shroud And I never really thought about removing the IO shield at the back Now for removing the, the, the GPU shroud, be careful, you should be very careful. There is a two cable connector that's been attached and one is for the LED and one is for the fan. So once the connector has been removed, you have to clean the GPU surface by using baby wipes. At least that's what I use. Or you can use an isopropyl alcohol and getting rid of the old thermal pads. So the AK water block that you bought um, comes with a thermal paste and a thermal pads. Next step is installing the thermal pads. And I know I put a lot of thermal pads just to be in the safe side. So now here we are installing the thermal paste and um, by the time you, you put the thermal, thermal paste it has to be a star shaped pattern. Well at least that's what it says in the instructional manual and I've seen people doing it so.
So after the thermal paste, you, you have to put the water block on top of it and it has to be aligned properly so you don't have problem installing the screws. Now be very extra careful and be uh, very mindful about putting back all the screws together because you don't want to damage your board. And uh, it has to be really like um, not so tight like, like what I did, it's just a hand tight. So as you guys notice, um, I've been using the um, backplate that comes with the Founders Edition. And now uh, you can always get a new GPU backplate in certain websites. And uh, there, there's this company called V1 Tech, and I will attach at the bottom of the description box. They also specialize custom backplates and and uh, more so if you guys have a time check it out so there you go i hope you guys like this video and uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys check um, some of my videos as well that would be awesome and uh please don't forget to subscribe it will help me a lot